Is your boring bookshelf talking shit to you? <laughs> well, I'm here to fix that. Just watch this video to see how I made this sad looking shelf a masterpiece. She dyed her hair blue. Hello, friends. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Shami. I'm currently making over my apartment, so you might see a couple of these videos floating around here and there. I am here with my dog, and today we are gonna organize, decorate, figure out my bookshelf that is looking pretty sad. Oh, look how sad it looks. You a bit sad there? Yeah. Basically, I've been moving stuff around in my apartment and I've never had my bookshelf out and I've decided that today I want my bookshelf in the lounge room. So, this girl, this girl right here, she moved that bookshelf from inside her room to outside. As you can probably tell, my apartment is very modern boho because I am a modern boho. <laughs> Let me show you the before version of my bookshelf. Right now, it has a bunch of bottles that are currently falling off and one actually has fallen off and spilt glitter everywhere. Why is my life like this? Tell me why. And honestly, this whole area kind of looks a bit trashy anyway, and I've been wanting to fix it for a while, but I want to start with my bookshelf because it's the ugliest thing right now. <laughs> I've honestly just chucked some books down there, my picnic baskets here, and a record player. Indie ho at it again. <laughs> this is also like the only time I've gotten dressed up in like a while. Alright, game plan. So back at my parents' house, I have like massive bookshelves, and they're very colorful, and as you can tell, I don't like color anymore because I have a cold soul. So heartless. I know. Ooh. Oh, that's cold. That's so bad. It doesn't even sound like I do an acting course. So, plan is for it to fit this aesthetic. I want to make my bookshelf aesthetic and that means I'm going to do some things to it. People are not going to be happy about it. My inspiration. So, I scrolled on the lovely Pinterest and this is what I came up with. I've been digging these bookshelves where you can't see the book. Now, I know you're thinking, Chammy, this is the stupidest idea ever. You're never going to know what book you're pulling out of your shelf. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it is the only way that I can respect my color scheme. I know I'm ashamed of myself as well. But just look how cool these are. All the books are facing the wrong way and it just looks uniform and nice. Frankie? Come on, get in. I'm here to help you have an aesthetic bookshelf today and not one that can help you find books, all right? One. To achieve my aesthetic bookshelf, I faced all my books the opposite way. I stacked them facing outwards so I could kind of get a feel for how it would look if I was looking directly. Thanks, son, for making an appearance. Like, I could kind of get a feel for how they would look if I was facing them outwards. As you probably realize, you can probably see some color depending on the book, and we're limiting that. I, like, semi-hate myself for doing this, but also, like... Okay, step one. I literally just spilt this glitter everywhere two seconds ago, so <laughs> I'm gonna pick that up. So I've got a bunch of random books here that are faced out, and some stacked in my room, which I'm just gonna move over there and kind of sort out. She dyed her hair blue. She's going through a midlife crisis. I did not grab all the books that I had. So. What I was looking for was a nice kind of beigey, like, toned, like, aged paper. <laughs> for example, this. I feel like this is a nice, decent cream color that you would love to see on the outside of a bookshelf. We love that. It's not too stark white, and it's aged really well, so I only really grabbed books like this. As much as I love Leigh Bardugo, this is not gonna work. <laughs> I love this series, but it's red, and that's not going for the vibe that we're going for today. No, it isn't. So, when you look at the Pinterest photos, all the books are kind of like one way. I don't want to do that. I want it to be horizontal some way, straight the other ways, and we're living our best life. Also, if you're watching right now, please subscribe and hit the notification button. It really honestly helps me out so much that I'd like love you forever and I will adopt you. My law student side is coming out and I'm thinking about the implications of saying that. <laughs> Two is the less books, the kind of better it looks for aesthetic bookshelf. Unless you're going for that cluttered vibe, which I am not, I'm going for like a clean, nice vibe. So, 
As you see here, I'm trying to separate the books with the different tones that they have and how they have aged. All right, so I have decided not to fill it up, but as you can see, I kind of like remained with the same size of books and I'm gonna put something here and now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna put there. Get some decorations because whether that is knickknacks on your shelf or some hanging plants, it just really is nice to break things up. Oh my god, why does the sun come out when I don't want it to? Now this reverse bookshelf kind of works for me because I'm placing my bookshelf in front of a door. I already have another door to my bedroom, so I really don't need that. It's kind of like super unnecessary. But if I do want to grab a book out to read, I can open the door and look at the other side. The open bookshelf. Ah, ha, ha. That legit is my only real experience excuse for doing this. <laughs> Kinda. Do whatever you want, kids. Live your life. I've got a bunch of pins in this cup and I think this would actually look so cute here. Yeah. Bam. I like, don't like how this is leaning. That looks cute for now. Let's keep it like that. As much as I love my picnic basket, it's not going here. I think I actually want my typewriter to go on my bookshelf. Oh, it's fallen. Yo, guys, that did not work. So now that the typewriter's there, I'm gonna slowly give it a vibe. Oh my god, there it goes again. Nope, I hate it. That, my friends, is looking a lot better. Guys, that is cute, but I feel like it should be on the other side once I lift that up. All right, what do we think? That definitely needs to be fixed. I think we're getting somewhere. I want to keep it quite open. So I was actually thinking of grabbing this really cool thrifted book that I just love the design of and I want to do something with it. All right, so with the bottom, I'm not too fast on how it looks because you won't see it and I think it being kind of mismatched kind of works since everything is so clean at the top. I like how these are different colors. That's annoying me though. I'm going to fix that. Slightly a bit better. Yo, that white book's not going to work. Somebody's gonna take your broken heart and make it brand new Somebody's gonna love you Take our love and turn it to Next Okay, so I got some baby's breath here and this is always just really gorgeous to decorate your place around with and I think I'm gonna like leave it as a branch on here. So I have two layers here as you can see. I bought this step thing from eBay. They're just clear shelves and they kind of bring the book up to a better level of height and I just really like the baby's breath in general and I think it works. Working slowly. That's definitely stuff that's still missing. I've got this plant hanger from Kmart, which I'm going to... No, I'm not going to do that. Maybe over here? Guys, this is coming together. Honestly, what makes anything look so much better is twine. So I'm gonna twine it around the bookshelf. This is fake twine from eBay, but I really like how there's white on it because it ties in with the rest of my apartment, which is white. Okay, so the vine actually makes it look so cool. I kind of made it come out of the planter and twine all the way down. And I've actually got an idea for this shelf and that is complete works of a William Shakespeare. I want to be like William Shakespeare. Will I be William Shakespeare one day? No. <laughs> the next step is your bookshelf's done. It's looking banging. It's looking great. Grab some tea, relax. You've done the hardest part and that is the actual activity. <laughs> What do we think, guys? Do we like the bookshelf? This is how it turned out. So the first shelf, we just have books on the left side, snow globe, planter, decorative book, some hands and a crystal and some like baby's breath flowers on different levels. We're changing it up here. Uh-huh. Typewriter, William Shakespeare. I've kind of like turned this on its side, but I don't know. And then just a bunch of books down below. So this is kind of a plain shelf. Really, there's nothing going on and I don't think there needs to be something going on on every shelf. What do we think? And that's how you decorate an aesthetic bookshelf. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, I think it looks super cute and minimalist and I'm kind of living for it. It's very much, I write at coffee shops and I'm a novelist. <laughs> My battery is about to die, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's how you decorate an aesthetic bookshelf. It's definitely as minimalist as I want it to be. I could fill it up with more books. I have heaps more books, but I just don't want to do that. Thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's at myth.chammy. I'm actually posting 
getting like ISO book recommendations soon. Stay in tune for that, baby. And you'll see me more on this channel, helping you get through life. More Frankie, so subscribe if you'd like. Subscribe if you want to see more of this dog. See ya. Bye. She dyed her hair blue. She's going through a midlife crisis. It's when he